you say this is something for everybody. Lots of the all all the promotion I've seen online has been centered around the rainbow flag. Would you <laughs> would you say that that because there are groups um, within sort of the LGBTQ plus um, space who would say they fall under a separate flag or something? What would you say to that? There are a multitude of flags, um, oh, some everyone. of which, yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we'd love to be able to to represent them all, but we'd need a bigger web page. And it's the iconic, it's the, yeah. most, the iconic ones. That's why we the ra- the rainbow flag encompasses um, all. It is it is. Um, it is. It's LGBTQ plus. Yeah. It's it's the entire community. That's what it's for. Um, yes, there are various different sort of like you know um, subsections, if you like, of that. But it, the rainbow flag is is it's about everybody. It's all inclusive, um, and we support all LGBTQ plus everybody. We support all of them. Do you think people are gonna? come out when you've got your carnival going on are people going to protest do you think if yeah you know, if they do then that you know free freedom of speech yeah, and such like that we that have thought well, of it we do have con- it. yeah we do have contingency yeah. plans for that hopefully not um we we'd like to hope that you know if 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 somebody is against it and doesn't want to be part of it then don't be part of it but if you do come on down and you you'll be more than welcome um so so you're not doing this because you want a protest, which no, I, some absolutely, no, absolutely not. not, not the at all. The opposite. No, not at all. Um, we're doing this because you know we there is a a fairly significant um, gay population on the Isle of Man who have family and friends and colleagues who are all very much supportive, and and you know we want to be able to to show that that there is a, there is a community there for people who are being marginalised um, and maybe don't have that support network ideally what well, it's not all about the festival um and it's not all about the events and, and next summer what either pride is going to try and do um which is is the main aim of the charity is to provide places for people who have been marginalized to go yeah. S- safe spaces where they can get guidance support counseling if necessary for you know those who have been rejected by by their loved ones not everyone's coming out story is a happy one and we're well aware of that but we have very very limited resources on the isle of man where people can go you know um so so that is going to be uh, that's another or the main arm of the charity is is going to be to provide the support that's needed in in the community here so is all that is that is the idea that that's going to start with the big carnival festival events that you're going to have or is that just going to be one part of it is that is that going to be where you sort of kickstart it all? The start, yeah, the start is going to be. Um, firstly, we're doing uh, some um, conversations with with the community and see what it is that that's needed. What do, you know? What do they need? What do we want? Particularly with young LGBT people, um, they have they do have a group, um, but it, for the likes of myself and Nikki, if we want to go, we can get on a plane and, and yeah. go across, and we can you know go to Manchester or Liverpool or London or wherever. Um, it's not so difficult. It's not so easy for the for the young people on the island. Definitely, you know, they have to travel off island. So w- yeah, I mean, why not? And also, flip side to it, people you know can come over and celebrate it here yeah. as well. Um, and 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 again, it's the fundraising that we do will be going towards the the support of of the LGBT community, as well as other people from different sectors who feel marginalised. Yeah. You know, we're looking at mental health. That's a, something that's very close to my heart, um, you know, engaging with mental health services so that people are getting support that they need. Um, it's it's incredibly important that that the two things are kind of separate. Yes, we're going to be having the events and it's going to be what we hope is going to be a fantastic sort of time for everybody. But there is a more serious underlying issue to that. There is there is the the part of the charity that that's needed that young people and and older people as well who feel marginalized from their from their community who feel isolated they've got somewhere to go and know that they're not alone so what what sort of thing will that go towards is the idea i know you said you don't want to give too much away maybe i'm treading on your toes i don't know is this for the events or for no sort of going forwards with this um scheme this charity is the idea that you want to open a bar somewhere no no i, I mean it'd, it'd be lovely if we had one but 
they, that's that's not well to have one someone's got to open it well you know? yeah i think and it's more to help the community it's more yeah people it's people as opposed to opening a bar and giving yeah a it's more having somewhere where somebody can go safe and, place. and a safe place for somebody to go and be themselves and and not have fear of persecution or judgment um where they can sit and have a coffee with somebody and or if they've got a problem and they're not sure where to go um that they can you know help get advice and but stuff d- like that does that um, stuff not happen already it does, but it's not necessarily aimed at the LGBT community. Um, for example, a trans community find it very, very difficult to find um, the help and support they need for, for various different things. Um, so, you know, we're going to be looking looking into to how we can help them. Um, we are very, very, very much um, with the T. Uh, so we we want to know what we can do to help and that's when we're going to be having conversations with with people from the community and like i say not just from the gay community but other sectors as well where you know mobility could be an issue or um for whatever reason they feel marginalized and isolated Police. we want to try and, yeah we want to try and make you know want to try and make people connect people um uh and so that they they don't feel so alone um and that they can be you know part of society now, your event is taking place in 2020, is that it right? Is indeed. Your big, I don't know what to call it, festival, carnival, yes. that sort of thing. Pride festival. Either, either yeah, one. either either way. Isle of Pride, that's that's yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. Is, have you waited until next year on purpose because we've got this pardon from the police coming in, possibly? No, it's because it takes a lot of planning. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, an event like this does not happen overnight. Um, we had our first conversations uh, about three months ago and it's been full on since then um, you know getting in touch with with people about uh, venues and making sure that we've got um, permissions from from authorities and uh, and and local councils and, and commissioners and things like that um, ah, see, and I was gonna... parish commissioners or whatever the, I don't know what they're called it would be councils wouldn't it be local uh, authorities it, I that local yeah. authorities the yeah the Ca- yeah sorry terminology different that's right um but yeah making sure that we've got the you know permissions from them to, to and we've explained what we we'd like to do um and i was gonna ask and they're all on board with it so i'm not gonna tell you who though well see I, <laughs> well yeah okay but i was gonna say is it all gonna be centered in douglas no. but perhaps what you've just said yeah. no. no we've purposely thought this that is through. why it's isle of pride yeah. We are an island okay, community. Okay. And without um, giving too much away, we said several events yes. across the island. Across the island. That's it. Um, that, is always, that is always the complaint when something happens, is that it's always in Douglas. And I get, you know, I get that. It's because Douglas is our capital. and yeah. But we are more than just Douglas. And, you know, there are people across, across the island that maybe can't get to Douglas for something. So we'll bring it to them. Is it June this is happening? Is, yes, is 13th to the 20th of June next year. So will that... I, I don't know the dates for TT next it's year, is off it? off the back of TT. Off the back. So have you after. done that on purpose? The island will be a bit busier then, maybe? S- slightly, maybe. Okay. <laughs> also, Are you not going to give anything? June is the, and the June, Pride Month. June, June is Pride oh, is Month. Right? So, um, yeah, worldwide. June, yeah, June is historically Pride Month. There are Pride festivals that happen all over, over the world the outside of, of June, but... Um, historically due to the Stonewall riots being in June yeah. um, that, that's always been, been considered as Pride Month as a, on a global scale so that's that's why uh, there are other factors as well but I'm not giving that away <laughs> yeah because we'll <laughs> give too much away 